Hey, dude, what's happening? Oh, good God, man. You can't just be walking around out of here. That was a close one, dude. What the hell is going on? Pfft, isn't it obvious, dude? I left the effects maker for more open and it's spewing out into our universe. Really? Yeah, it's more common than you think. Hmm, that really should be in the troubleshooting section. There's only one thing for it, Doug. I gotta make a break for it and hit that mouse button. Wish me luck. Good luck, dude. God, there's emojis now. I better hurry up. Oh, here we go. It's nothing. Close one. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning some filmmaking and learning good. And today we're back with Wondershare Filmora for another Wondershare Filmora tutorial. And yes, that is the intro I'm going with. My God. In the previous episode we did on Filmora, we just went through a basic overview of how to do a few basic functions. You can find that right here. But today, I thought we'd concentrate on adding effects to shots. In particular, we'll be building a VFX shot. So we'll have some green screen footage, we'll have a background play, we'll chuck a whole bunch of elements in there, maybe color grade it, and just see what we can come up with. Now you can see from the opening sketch that I went way overboard with chucking elements in the scene and that was kind of the idea. I just wanted to throw as many things on screen as possible and just make something ridiculous. And guess what? Not only was that short at the start, 100% made in Filmora, this entire episode was. But before we jump into the tutorial, let's have a look at some of the key features in Filmora 9. There is now up to 100 audio and video tracks within the timeline. There's expanded audio features so you can now perfect your sound with audio keyframing, background noise removal, and an audio equalizer. And of course, endless video effects as Filmora is going to continue to deliver top tier video effects including motion elements, animated titles, royalty free music and transitions. And lastly, a feature I'm very happy with, full 4K support so now I can edit with clarity in 4K. So how about I zip it and we jump into Filmora and build that VFX shot. Okay guys, here we are in Filmora 9 and I thought we'd just casually build up a uh, VFX shot here. So I've got my green screen footage and I've got a background plate. So let's double click on the green screen footage and we'll just trim ourselves a nice piece. So I'm just going to scrub through and let's try and find a face where I'm not looking all weird. That's not actually possible. So what I might do is just hit an out point here and we'll hit and in point when I start crawling there we go done okay so that one's trimmed and we'll just drop that in on this second layer here that way we've got a bit of room for our background layer there as well so same with the background layer I'm just gonna double click on that and you can see I've already trimmed that one and we'll just go ahead and drop that in underneath our green screen footage now we are gonna manipulate these a little bit more but for now we'll just trim that so they're both the same size now obviously, first things first, we've got to key this footage. So what we're going to do is just click on that, head to green screen, and as you can see, it's already started to work. So first things first, we're just going to go into our chroma key settings, and we're going to select this more paler green, because if you have a look at my screen, it is a pale green, and this will just help Filmora key this better. So what I'm going to do is just set our offset to 61, because I have keyed this before. And then, just to fill in these blank areas, because you can see we've got a little bit of that happening, I'm just going to drop the tolerance to 48, and you'll see that thicken back up again. Bam. Lastly, I'm going to bring that edge thickness to minus 3, just to trim a bit of that mat off there. And then, I'm going to maybe up that edge further to 3. And that, that's a pretty good key. I'm pretty happy with that. I might actually set that further to four bam okay so we've already keyed our footage and i'm actually really impressed with the way this is keyed filmora 9 is much better with keying so i'm a hell of a lot more confident in uh, keying out green screen footage on here 
Now one thing you may have noticed is that I'm crawling in the wrong direction. For some reason I shot it the completely wrong way and my continuity was all stuffed up. So all I'm going to do is just flip this footage. So if we double click on here, all we're going to do is just flip it horizontal and then bam. Now we're crawling in the right direction. So <laughs> that's much better. I'm just going to hit OK. And now let's start putting some VFX elements in this shot. Now guys, I want to put some effects elements underneath my green screen footage. So all I'm going to do is just grab our green screen footage and just drag it up a couple of tracks. Maybe a couple more than that. Now you can see I've already added some tracks, but if you wanted to add say more tracks, it's very, very easy. Just right click and you can just add another video track. You can add another audio track or you can just delete the empty tracks that you've created if you just want to neaten your uh, comp up a little bit. So let's add some elements to this shot. So all we're going to do is head to elements and you can see I went to the effects store and went absolutely nuts and I downloaded a whole bunch of stuff including 198 VFX assets. So let's drop that down. You can see we've got our blockbuster, we've got our blockbuster three, four, five. And I think what we might do is just grab this destruction here or maybe this one here. If you want to preview them guys, just click on them once and then you can just play them down here in the source window. So that one's not bad. It's not too overstated. So let's just drag and drop that in here. Now you can see that the length doesn't go the entire length of our clip. So we'll just make sure that ends right at the end of our shot. And let's just have a quick look at that. Not bad, but I think we can scale that up a little bit. So what we'll do is we'll double click and I think I'll scale that up say to 150 or close enough. And I'm just going to drop that down we don't actually have a floor in our scene, so we don't actually want to see the bottom of that effect shot. Let's just have a quick look at that. Not bad. Now one thing I do want to do guys is just brighten this up a little bit, so I'm going to head to color. I'm going to set the temperature to a little bit more yellow, because our scene is quite yellow. Then I'm just going to bump up the brightness a little bit, and maybe just lower the contrast. Let's then hit OK. We'll have a quick look at that. Not bad, not bad at all. Okay, let's add some more elements into this. Now guys, it's at this point that I can just say, you can add whatever you want to this shot. You can really just go nuts, just like I did. So if I wanna go add some fire to the scene, I can chuck some fire in there. Once again, guys, just jump in, adjust this one. Now, one thing I didn't mention with the last one is we can actually change the blending mode. So if I hit that to screen, it's going to blend into our shot a little better. I'm just going to up the size of that a little bit. And we'll just trim that so that everything marries up. So now that I'm, now I'm actually crawling through debris and fire. Now, let's go just a little bit crazy now. Let's hit OK on that one and just add a few more stupid things. So I'm going to head in here and I'm going to grab a doggy. Now let's just adjust him into place. We'll throw him up here and here and we'll just scale him down a little bit. We might just put him I might put him here. That way I actually crawl into the dog's face. <laughs> that looks stupid. Okay, I think we might start putting some stuff on top as well. So let's just add an emoji on top here. Once again, guys, I'm just going to adjust that into place. Nice. Now guys, one thing you may have noticed in a lot of the shots is I actually had some bullets flying by, which was created with this bullet pass here. So all I did there is just drag and drop this on. Now I also went in and I scaled that up and I changed the transfer mode to screen. Now 
Yeah. One thing I also did is, you'll notice that it doesn't actually go to the end of the clip. So all I did was just copy the effect, made sure I selected the track that I wanted it to be on, and then I just hit Control-V to paste it. I'll just trim that up as well. So you can see already, we've got a fair bit going on here, but let's just add a couple more things just to uh, put a cherry on top. Now I think what I might do is I'll just move up all of my layers and then I'm going to put some of this smoke just underneath because we do have a fire there and you know, when there's smoke, there's fire. So we'll just trim that into place. So now we've actually got some smoke in the scene as well. So guys, the last thing I want to do is just add a color grade to the entire thing. So what I'm going to do is just head to effects have it over filters and let's just find one let's just go cinematic and I think I might grab say let's just go I don't know cinematic one we'll just drop that filter on top which will create a new track drag it all the way to the end of my footage and there we go so we've got an we've got a cool cinematic filter over the whole thing now guys you can actually go in and individually color correct these layers with LUTs so, just for an example, I can just click on the green screen footage, head to color, and we can just add a LUT here. So, let's just grab, I don't know, Star Wars. So you can see, very easy to do that. Just undo that. Or if you just want to add one to the entire footage, you can just go over to filters and just drop one of these bad boys in there. Now the last thing I think I'll do is just add some cinematic bars. So I'm just gonna drop those in, create a new track once again drag it out to the entirety of our shot and one thing I might do is just adjust these so you can actually just double click on here and just change the border height so I'm just going to change that so it's just a little bit less thick hit OK and let's just play that back now So that's pretty cool guys, in the space of about 5 minutes we have built an effect shot. We've keyed some green screen footage, we've added our background plate, we've added a whole bunch of elements around it, we've color graded it and we've added some widescreen bars. And this is just scratching the surface of what you can do in Filmora. All I've done here is just built a silly V effect shot. There is much more we can do here. So if you want me to build some more stuff in Filmora, please let me know down in the comment section. But for now guys, that is another effect shot. Done. Add up all those steps and you get something like this. Oh god, there's emojis now. I better hurry up. So guys, that was building a VFX shot in Wondershare Filmora. As you can see, it's pretty easy to build up all those elements and get a really cool looking effect shot. But for now guys, that is my time. If you did enjoy the episode, please smash that like button. I really do appreciate it. And if you want to see more Filmora stuff, leave a comment below. Once again, guys, it goes without saying, a big thank you to Wondershare and Filmora for sponsoring this episode. I've got two other episodes of Film Learning right over here. I've got my own social media crap all over here, if I remember the new end screen. And you can also support me on Patreon if you'd like, or you can click that join button below to support us directly on YouTube. But until I see you again, guys, keep learning.